All right, hi, and welcome to a brand new video of the Target Engine program, Target Engine Experience. So, um, the perps they knew I had to do a video today. Well, they didn't have to do a video, right? So they, because they have been getting stuff together um, to do the uh, presentation. Just so want to do a um, a PowerPoint slide presentation, right? About the trauma. Uh, it's uh, I gotta do a part three. I've done uh, two parts already. It's it's uh, when reality is ignored, the psychological condition of our minds to fear the truth. Um, particularly geared when I do these videos, geared towards uh, black people, Negro European people, to understand our psychological condition and how we we are being brainwashed and how we are being conditioned to uh, act in ways in which. Uh, detrimental to ourself and to each other and our communities our children and you know they use many different uh, things to do so okay in weaponization of our environment of our culture uh, the culture in which they want to create but make it seem as if we create those cultures ourselves right um, and these are negative cultures right or negative things within the culture that, that we engage in, particularly our young people. And it's gotten much, much worse. And so whenever I do these videos, I'm about to do these videos and they know it, they always send me something in my message. And it's always, again, in order to try to psychologically manipulate me into not doing them or to not uploading uh, those videos. So I just finished the video and all of a sudden, now everything that I touch, like I shouldn't say everything I touch, but particularly things that are of a particular color, um, for example, uh, they always do this using the color black, and I talk about this all the time. So now they go back to, to doing exactly that. And this is something, again, that I've, uh, you know, not only have I been going through, but also analyzing and also uh, paying attention to my own thought pattern, my own emotions in terms of when they do these things. And they use the police, uh, well, not the police, uh, they use the car honking, right? Um, and so. Uh, one of the, the video I showed at the end of the presentation was a video in which you had these two 10 year old white kids because I want black people and Negro people to truly understand how a certain group of people see us and particularly see our children because you see countless videos and where you see big white police officers, men who are basically pounding, literally pounding on young black teenage girls, young uh, black women also you also see them having black men in handcuffs beating on them shooting them you know all these other things right and claiming how they fear for their lives okay though again they're on you you know black people on arm but they fear for their lives and here you see a video where you have these two and you guys can go um and i'll give you guys the, if, the youtube is called the youtube video is called um 12 year old boy and 14 year old girl have shoot up with cops okay and just listen to the care the concern the worries these police officers had and you know eventually the young girl was wounded she was shot and wounded okay and again they are alive but they basically had ak-47 shotguns a barrage of bullets firing at the cops not once did these police officers had fear for their lives. As with, with when they encounter most white people with guns, they have no fear of their lives. Though at times, their lives are being taken by these very same white men, young or old, who have guns. Okay? Because what they don't want you to know, the public, is that the vast majority of police killings are being done by white men, particular white men, young white men. But they don't fear that. Whereas the vast amount of killing, particularly per population, right, in terms of numbers uh, on, I should say, uh, unequal, right? Because we know, yes, more white people get killed by police because, again, they are about, about what, um, five times the population of black people. But when you look at the numbers, right, are pretty close in terms of 
white people that are who are killed by police and black people who are killed. And in some states, there's more black people than white people. Okay, so the numbers are pretty close. But the population, in terms of population number, white people far outnumber black people. So this is why it is such a problem. Okay. Because I guarantee if the black population was as high as the white population or equal to the white population, there wouldn't be so much of a big issue. It would still be an issue, but, you know, uh, we couldn't use the disproportionate amount of killing and say, okay, white people kill, white officers kill a disproportionately amount of black people than they do white people, which is true. Okay? So I just want to say that and acknowledge that, right? Because, again, just being, being honest, right? This is what, because this is what they don't do. They, they, they're not honest people, right? They're not honest people. And I talked about how, you know, they create these bogus search warrants to raid the homes of black people who have young children and traumatize these children, pointing guns at them, having them lying down on the floor, uh, sometimes in handcuffs, hand behind the back, even having uh, babies and pampers laying on the floor, face down. And how all these things traumatize us, not just the people and the children going through it, but those of us who read about it, who see it, it caused unintended trauma within our subconscious. So they don't want us to understand these things. They don't want us to know these things. And, you know, like I said, this is, it has been one of my purpose, one of my purpose to expose these things and make people truly understand, particularly within my group, right? That we th truly start to look at things the way it is. That we truly start to look at each other and appreciate the fact that uh, all the things that we've been through, we're still here, we're still striving. And black people are trying to make America better, but it's not up for, uh, but it's not up to us to make America better. It is white people. They are the vast majority of people in America. This system is built for them. They are the ones that have to make it better. But the truth is, the vast majority of them don't want it to be better. They don't want us to, to have equality, and that's the truth. And they hate it when a person like me, speak on the truth. They hate any black person that speak on the truth. Okay, and that is the truth. That is the reality. And when I talk about being experimented on, when I talk about us as TIs, not just as a black TI, but you know whether you're white TI, Asian TI, what have you, right? It is again to show that in America that these things happen. And so when America gets on television, or the representative, the president, the whoever, and and act as if America has some high moral value. And this is what the world has to see. And this is why I do what I do. Okay? I'm just one small part of a bigger picture. Okay? And we all are puzzles to the picture. And we all have to do our part. Right? Because this is not new. And we have been conditioned with a uh, short-term memory effect or conditioning right where a couple of days go by after something happens you know and we just forget about it particularly when it comes to the corruption within our government corruption within the police department the brutality of the police department you know we have been conditioned to forget about it and like I said this year you will really see if the conditioning is taking hold because they don't even want protested against police departments who against police officers who shoot on on black people uh, on on white people also okay they don't want any sort of uh, protest going on any sort of criticism why because when you look at the dark tribe personality type the one thing they try to do is to try to stop any sort of negative outlook a negative reporting as to who they are because in their mind they should be loved regardless of all the evil all the wickedness that they do right to the population particularly within uh, the black community a community in which black people, people and nigger people live right they want to come in do whatever they want to do and leave and go back to their cushy homes in the suburbs or whatever it is that they live and go to sleep peacefully. Well, people like that should never be able to go to sleep peacefully. 
they should never be able to go to sleep peacefully. Do we go to sleep peacefully? No. We are traumatized whether we're sleeping or whether we are awake. Alright, with that being said, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.